All right, welcome back to more Zelda Deluxe fourth quest. And we're gonna go finish off uh, eight three in this part. We'll kind of just split it into two pieces. You know, the first part is just the <clears throat> you know exploring the outside of the level. Then it's now it's doing the going to the boss door around. remember what changed in this last bit. I know the boss changed. Uh, actually, maybe not so much changed, but there's stuff added to it. And pretty much make that battle into like a nightmare. start going through the main route. I mean, luckily this first room isn't too difficult, especially if you got all the darkness kind of clumped over there. Fairly simple start there. Okay, this room is unchanged, I believe. The same, <clears throat> same stuff you'll be dealing with. And since you're kind of restricted on mobility in this room. Using your fire boomerang may not be such a bad idea. You know, get as much damage as you can from, uh, you know, sniping. there. <clears throat> okay, this room, uh, I think you actually used the, the rod. <clears throat> yeah, there's a little bit of a trick there. what you get for clearing this room, or if anything, <clears throat> maybe just money. At least, the, again, the red bubbles aren't that annoying. Just a three-second... three-second three loss of a sword or item. It's not as bad. As long as I can use one of the two, usually I can still get around the place. Hmm. Okay, level four. <clears throat> Land molas. Red candles are a pretty good way to 
whittle them down pretty quickly. <clears throat> Luckily, they don't really do that much damage. like. <clears throat> Just give me a baseline what to work with. Alright, uh, this room is unchanged. Okay, so it's still the... <clears throat> Superman hand was. Again, you know, really restricted on the mobility, so better just to try to, you know, swipe off as many hits with bombs. <clears throat> so the doorway at least keeps you somewhat safe as you're trying to play your bombs. Get some solid hits on here. You know, one of them's down. to get a bomb there now. Might be able to, you know, since I have sword beams, I can try to <clears throat> get lucky and try to swipe off the bottom pieces. I got one of them out. I think the other one I've already hit once, so I'm sure one more hit should knock it out. Again, it's always satisfying to be able to do that. Oh, clock. I'm <laughs> not complaining about the clock. <clears throat> Earn a free pass through this room. free money right there. Another clock. I'm not sure if I can reach those two poles boys at the top, though. I can get as many as I can. Well, I think this one you have to use the rod as well, so actually maybe I can reach him now. Yeah, this is gonna be fun to handle. single red bubble, but it's basically a flashing bubble, so no different from the uh, third quest. Kind of use that for some damage protection. This room, I think, is also unchanged. <clears throat> I'm 
trying to figure out how to best do this one. but you know, just whittle them down gradually. Okay, this next room, I uh, have to see what I'm up against here. Yeah, two Death Knights and a Patra 2. This is, a uh, very fun to go through, huh? Get rid of one of them. can be really ugly. But now that I got both of those other guys out of the way, I think it's a little easier for me. Just a single patch of two. Not quite as bad. There's a more manageable battle now. Take my time now because uh, shouldn't be as big a deal to take out. What makes the battle so dangerous is just the combination of stuff that gets thrown at you here. Possibly two potions on this battle. That was a really ugly battle, and again, good thing for all these super bombs I have. Just, just toss them away, just get rid of those death knights as fast as I can. It's not the not, not the most fun level to go through. You see where the fourth quest really starts kicking your butt. Maybe not that bad at the beginning, and now it's really just starts ramping up, and it probably just gets worse later on. All right, so we got through eight three. And you notice you only have seven Triforce pieces. Yeah, because you're gonna have to go through all the. Level 9's as well to find the other Triforce piece, or 9-3 in particular. Alright, so next part we'll start going through uh, the level 9's and uh, start clearing those places out. Alright, see you guys later!